Well, uh, thanks very much. <coughs> it's, uh, can't, uh, you know, it's hard to do, uh, describe what a pleasure it is to uh, be back here. Uh, I've been here a number of times, and uh, I kind of feel like it's uh, one of my home places. And uh, thank you all for coming. I have old friends here and uh, new ones. And I managed to... Uh, after the sound check, walk up uh, and spit in the River Tay. It's <laughs> a uh, custom of mine. You know. <laughs> no, and this time there was nobody standing underneath it, so it worked out even better. But. <laughs> This, this song is called Two Girls, and uh, uh, I was going with the prettiest dancer in Houston. And it was during the summer, and uh, it was about 130 degrees. And uh, I think it would be about 200 Celsius, somewhere. <laughs> and uh, we didn't have any air conditioning, and I had never even noticed. And that's one of the, the last jokes I'm going to tell. I'm going to try to get many. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. I'll just try to play. The plan is I'm going to play about 35, 40 minutes, and there'll be about a 15 minute break, and then I'll come back and play until everybody's gone. <laughs> Boy, Mike King's good, huh? He's good. He's a good driver, too. He's a good writer and a good player, a good singer, and a good guy. Cajun 
would say, the last time this happened, they weren't here. Beaumont's full of penguins, have a plane in my ear. I got two girls, one's in heaven and one's below. One I love with all of my heart, one I do not know. I got two girls, one's in heaven, one's below, one I love with all of my heart, one I do not know. serious, uh, you need to uh, seek some professional help. <laughs> All ribbons of love, please keep me true sane until I reach home on the morrow. Never, never to wander again. I'm weak and I'm weary of sorrow. London to Dublin to Australia to Perth. I gazed at your skies and I've tasted your earth. I sung out my heart for what it was worth. 
never again will I ramble. There's nowhere left in this world where to go. My arms, my legs, they're trembling. Thoughts both clouded and blue as the sky. Ain't even worth the remembering. Now as I stumble and reel to my bed, all that I've done and all that I've said means nothing to me as soon as be dead. This world be forgotten. No words of comfort, no words of advice. Nothing to offer the stranger. Gone the love, gone the spite. matter no longer. The sky's getting far and the ground's getting close. Myself's going crazy the way that it does. I lie on my pillow and sleep if I must. It's too late to wish I'd been Katie Bell. I've written three lullabies. I wrote one for a grown woman, and I wrote one for money. And uh, <laughs> this guy calls me. He says, uh, "If you're a father, we're gonna we're putting together a record, and uh, you know, a lullaby record." And I was thinking, you know, if it's a good good enough lullaby record, nobody's gonna ever hear the other side. They'll be asleep. <laughs> have a blank B-side. <laughs> but uh, my son, uh, my younger son was then uh, this big, and he's playing football already, and he, did, you know, he didn't need no lullaby, but I had to use my imagination. And I said, well, I, uh, I'm not sure if I really have a lullaby. And he said, uh, well, there's money in it. Oh, yeah. I got one. I got a really pretty lullaby. Yeah, I got a ace lullaby. You know, you know, set the alarm clock and woke myself up and sent it off the next day. And, 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 and. <clears throat> but this one uh, was written uh, for love to put my little girl to sleep.
on a Sunday, I'm bound away. Wind and wings on the water. Come what may, you must stay and remain my beautiful daughter. The ocean that lies as deep as the blue of your laughing eyes. No sweeter sound than your gentle sigh. Good night, Katie Bell. Good night.
I heard the earth sigh patiently as it slid back into place. Now I'm back among the ones I love, and I'm loved by them in turn. And it's only on the darkest night that green-eyed memory burns. Day. Don't go sneaking around no holes. There just might be something down there that wants to gobble up your soul. song here, American uh, Blues, by the famous uh, ex-blues player Lightning Hopkins. He, he's from uh, Houston, Texas, and I got to meet him. I, we became kind of, kind of friends, and, you know. I met him about 30 times, and uh, before he died, I think he almost remembered my name. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> He used to make up songs as you know, he just make them up. He figured uh, remembering lyrics was extra baggage. <laughs> yeah, so I heard a lot of his songs. And uh, this is one of his weirder, called uh, The Short Haired Woman Blues. No 
little bit hard luck and trouble, man. Have you buying rats all the time? friends here and it's really good to uh, see so both vests has so many pockets. It's got pockets inside and pockets outside. I have no idea where uh, here's one some of y'all uh, I know I've heard some of y'all haven't but uh, there's a guy walks into a bar and he's real well dressed you know got a suit on. He sits down at the bar and the bartender walks over. He says, I would like three shots of gin, please. Bartender said, okay. And the guy uh, drinks them real pensively, real thoughtfully, you know. And uh, I'm going to burn this vest when I go off stage. I mean, you got to grab the mean nuts. I mean, I got <laughs> Ain't much of a vest uh, sort of a guy. Anyway. But he gets three shots of gin. He drinks some real slowly. And he, and he leaves. And uh, he comes back in about two weeks. And uh, sits down. The bartender kind of thinks he's seen him before, but he's not sure. And uh, walks over and says, what would you like? And he says, well, uh, three shots of gin. Oh, yeah, you're the gin man. That's right. Same thing. It takes about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. And he paces up and he starts leaving. The bartender says, uh, hey, uh, you've been in here before. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we've spoken and we're kind of gotten, you know, we're acquaintances. He says, how come you get three shots of gin at once instead of one shot of gin three times? And uh, I said, well, I got an older brother in Oslo, and I got a younger uh, brother in Dublin. He said, none of us drink very much, but whenever we have a drink, we have one for uh, one another. You know, I have one for my brother in Oslo, and I have one for myself, and I have one for Jimmy in Dublin. And the guy said, boy, that sure is a nice family thing. You know, that's great. Yeah, he leaves and he comes back another three weeks and by this time the bartender knows him, you know. He sees him, boy, he grabs three shot glasses and uh, a bottle of gin. Comes down the bar and the guy says, two shots of gin. <laughs> the guy says, sir, boy, and he drinks them slower than ever. Uh -huh. He gets up to leave and he pays and gets up to leave and the bartender stops him and he says, you know, I don't mean to intrude or to pry or anything like that. He says, uh, I sure hope nothing happened to one of your brothers. He says, no, they're fine. I quit drinking. <laughs> yesterday, you know, I've been on the road a long time. I went to a doctor and I told him that nobody had talked to me. He said, next. <laughs> <laughs> no, here we go, here we go. I, don't know. I may be a lonely schizophrenic, but at least I got each other. <laughs> I 
my favorite is uh, this guy comes into the receptionist and uh, the receptionist goes into the doctor and she says, Doctor, we got a guy out here that thinks he's invisible. And the doctor says, Well, tell him I can't see him right now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, I'm going to do a couple more just so I can uh, get off and it won't be a long break. And then, then I get up and play uh, longer. <laughs> is the way they explained it to me. I mean, you know, <laughs> This song is called uh, Snowing on Raton. And it's about a mountain pass in, between Colorado and uh, New Mexico. And the, the those are, you know, states in the states. And uh, the top, the very exact top to the inch, I suppose, of the pass is the borderline. And I've been over it many times. And uh, it's called Snowing on Raton. Amarillo is a a town in North Texas where the wind blows 60 miles an hour steadily, sometimes 80 miles an hour, never less than 40, you know. <clears throat> and uh, hippies always look real funny because they're walking down the street and their hair is like sticking straight out. <laughs> they are like that, they are like that, or that, whichever way they're going. <laughs> And uh, the Gunnison is a river that comes down out of Colorado. It's a real pleasure to be here again. I'm going to play a couple more and then uh, there'll be about a 15 minute break and uh, I'll be back to play some more. When the wind don't blow in Amarillo and the moon along Gunnison don't rise Shall I cast my dreams upon you, love, baby Lie beneath the laughter of your eyes My snow and all its home Come morning, I'll be through them hills and gone Oh, mother thinks the road is long and lonely. Little brother thinks the road is straight and fine. Oh, darling thinks the road is soft and lovely. I'm thankful that old road's a friend of mine. Well, snow. I'll be through them hills and gone. Well, bid the years goodbye, you cannot steal them. You cannot turn the circles of the sun. Or you cannot count the miles until you feel them. You cannot hold a lover that is gone While snowing on the tone Come morning, I'll be through them hills and gone There's snowing on the tone Come morning I'll be through them hills and gone. Well, tomorrow the mountains will be sleeping. Silent neath a blanket, green and blue. Oh, and I shall hear the silence they are keeping. And I bring all their promises to you. Was snowing on the 
march on. Come march, I'll be through them hills and gone. A snow and on its own. Come march, I'll be through them hills and gone. I'll be through them hills and gone. back about 15 minutes. If Woody Guthrie was alive today, he'd be rolling over in his grave. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I let me tell one more joke about Jack Brady. I'll play this song. They both kind of go together. This guy's driving down the street, and he's got three penguins in his back seat. And now uh, this policeman's had a long day on the job. He don't want no penguins. To go. He pulls him over. He says, "Look." He said, "Man, get these penguins off the street." He said, "I don't want them on my beak." He says, "Take them to the zoo." The guy says, "Yes, sir." He drives off. And the next day, down the freeway, here comes a guy and the three penguins in his back seat, and they all got shades on. <laughs> and uh, I mean, boy, the cop sees him. He's not amused. He pulls him over. He says, "Man, I told you to take them penguins to the zoo." <laughs> he says, "Yes, sir. Today we're going to the beach." <laughs> time I'd go outside, some big old bullet come along. Hit me in the face and knock me to the ground, start to kicking me all around. That ain't exactly fair, friends, that's wrong. I got me a paper the other night, and I crawled up on a sofa, and I turned on the light, and I flipped through the pages till I found the classified ads. Said, take karate for Lee Hung Chow, mate. Make your first appointment now. This course is guaranteed to make you bad. Then the next day, I drove to the address by the Japanese design. I was real impressed. It looked like a regular house of the rising sun. Walked inside, I was all alone. I had a funny feeling down in my bones. I was kind of sorry I'd ever even come. And this giant Jap comes through the door. I swear that mother was seven foot four and he looked like he was prone to easy aggravation. <laughs> he said, Lee Hung Chow, Aki Dung, that's J Japanese for P5 Full Fun. I tried to explain my entire situation. The number one course, Yankee Self Defense, two hundred dollars and twenty-five cents. I said, "What's the twenty-five cents for?" And he said, "Repairs." I said, "Repairs to what?" And he said, "To you." And I thought, "Oh man, this would never do." And I felt about a half inch tall underneath that slanted stair. You think he was yelling? I believe I'll go try another place. He said, how so, Yankee don't like my race? I said, now there's a mistake, man, and that's true. I've been poor, you Japanese, all along. You Japanese can't do no wrong. I thought you got a pretty dirty deal in World War II. Well, the 
grabbed you by the hand and he gave a heave, I figured that's a pretty good time to leave before he had a chance to do me any definite harm. But my plan worked out in the end, you see. Now no bullies are going to pick on me. Who's going to hit a fellow with just one arm? Poncho needs your prayers, it's true. The 
same a cube I left it to. He just did what he had to do. Now he's growing old. And if you can't been a rally, say, you could have had him any day. You only let him go so wrong. Out of kindness, I suppose. Could have had him any day I only let him go so wrong Out of kindness, I suppose somebody that uh, is willing to take it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> See, uh, along the law of laws, uh, you know, uh, it's funny, I'm not used to uh, curfews. I'm not sure I remember that one. <laughs> uh, I will indeed. Now, I had one that I was going to, I had no idea what it was. <laughs> Well, I might as well play Thunderbird Blues, so just because so, it's, it's in the right gear, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, any country, uh, any country in the world that imports Thunderbird wine is okay with me, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's less of it where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about uh, the first time uh, I ever had the uh, Thunderbird wine. And uh, it's a uh, wine, I guess it starts off as wine. <laughs> I guess, I, I'm not sure. You know, but, uh, then they add, you know, whatever, kerosene. <laughs> Strange critter. <laughs> I'm going to make this a medley, because they're both in the same gear, almost. <laughs> I'll have to modulate a shade, but, you know, I can do it. I can have it. Yeah, I'll play both these stupid ones at once. They call it Buck Foss, nobody else. They call it what? Buck Foss. No, you get Buck Foss. Buck Foss. I thought she said something entirely different. <laughs> Now, that, now, now we're making sense. <laughs> I really, I mean, I'm going to get me a boat, I'm going to drag it up on dry land, and I'm going to sit there and, until I'm arrested. <laughs> when they ask me what I'm doing, I'm or dragged off. Yeah, that could be, they just drag me off into the ocean, and I'd be, have to do some rearranging. I had a sailboat that sank lately and not. My wife, of course, got the insurance. <laughs> Built a fence to keep me out of the house. <laughs> Among the strangest things I ever heard, this friend of mine said, man, let's get some Thunderbird. I said, what's that? He just started to grin, slobbered on his shirt, his eyes got dim. He says, you got 59 cents? I said, I got a dollar, but don't be a smart aleck. I ain't going to spend it on no Indian relic. He said, Thunderbird's not an Indian trinket. It's a wine, man. You take it home and drink it. I said, it don't sound like wine to me. He said he'd bet me the change from my dollar. We hustled on down to the nearest you told him. The guy wanted my ID. I whipped her out and showed him. He got a green bottle from the freezing vault. My friends started doing backwards somersaults through the cottage cheese. <laughs> Pitiful, isn't it? Terrible song. It'll be over for a while. It gets worse, but it'll be over for a while. <laughs> well, we took her back to his house, started drinking, and pretty soon I sat in to thinking. Man, this Thunderbird is yum, yum, yummy, and I know it's good doing good things from a tongue. -tum 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 -tum. <laughs> That's the way you reason when you're on that crap. <laughs> got a few more bottles and chugged them down. I pulled myself up off the ground. Decided I'd go see my dear sweet wife. She met me at the door with a carving knife. 
said, get them damn grape peels from between your teeth. I can see we're going to have a little misunderstanding. I said, dear, I better get in touch with you later. She said, forget it, man. You're never touching me again. Y'all think that's funny. seen the light and I heard the word and I'm staying away from my old Thunderbird. Message come from heaven radiant and fine and now I drink communion wine. Six days a week. tried to sell me four wheels in a trunk. I said, man, there ain't no engine. <laughs> the man down at this used car lot tried to sell me four wheels in a trunk. I said, man, there ain't no engine. He said, the engine, just a bunch of junk. Said you don't need no engine to go downhill. And I can plainly see that's the direction you're headed in. And he handed me the keys. I said no deal. You can sell that stuff for me. Oh no deal. Heading back to Tennessee. I went to a doctor of the highest order. He said I couldn't have a drink for a year. One glass of wine on my birthday, if my birthday wasn't too very near. <laughs> he must have put me in a state of shock. I made it for about two weeks. And he sent me a bill, knocked me flat off the wagon. And that down on my feet. I said, no deal. You can't sell that stuff to me. Oh, no deal. I'm headed back to Tennessee. Well, when true love knocked upon my door, that's my favorite part. I don't know. <laughs> knocked upon my door. She just barely turned 16. I was a little bit nervous, if you know just what I mean. I heard somewhere that true love conquers all, but I figured that was that. And I started having dreams about being chased out of town wearing nothing but my cowboy hat. <laughs> oh, deal. Can't you sell that stuff to me? Oh, no, deal. I'm headed back to Tennessee. Well, I come through this life a stumbler, friends, and I expect to die that way. Could be 20 years from now, could be most any day. But if there ain't no whiskey and women, Lord, up above of them heavenly doors, I'm going to take my chances down below. For that you can be sure. There's no
Here's a a new one called, uh, and this is not morbid or anything, I'm playing a couple songs here about uh, some friends of mine that are no longer with us. And it's not morbid, I mean, they're they're kind of there with me, you know, I mean, they're always be with me. First one's called the B.W. Railroad Blues, about a friend of mine named Bo Whit, who was an artist, you know, I figured, you know, that's an artist. You know, he painted. You know, there's an artist, and then there's an artiste. You know what I mean, artiste wear berets. You know, you know artists fairly don't. They forget to eat. You know, much less wear berets. You know, and he was an artist, and he got real confused. He had a wife, and uh, this is not uh, morbid. Uh, and, and I hope uh, it's not offensive to anybody. It's a white thing. Go. It's where the world goes around, John Brown says. But he had a uh, wife and a mistress. And uh, he got real confused. And uh, if he had called me, I could have unconfused him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have, but he didn't call me. What he did was he called Coco, the mistress. And it's like, uh, this is Coco. I'm not here right now. I heard the sound of the beep. Beep. 
Coco, this is the sound of a broken heart. <laughs> From his wife's phone. And I'm still, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not mad. It's, it's hard to remain mad at the dead. You know, after a period of years. I mean, but uh, he took all the fun out of suicide for me. That's for <laughs> Yeah, I had to deal with it. <laughs> but his wife's invited. She's an artist, too. She's married to a Lightning Hopkins bass player. And, uh, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called Be Debbie Railroad Blues. Rex, uh, his name is Rex. Rex Bell, I'll play Rex's Blues here in a second, and then uh, if you need your tunes, Coons Valley and Sydney will be in. So if you've got to stop talking, it won't get in. <laughs> Uh, called Blazes Blues. This is, uh, well, we'll do these together. 
This friend, a friend of mine who I managed to get himself shot down in Texas, and uh, I could have prevented that too if I'd have been here. Uh, he had told me a year before, and he had no idea about anything happening or anything like that. But he had a new guitar he was real proud of, and he's a guitar player. And, uh, showed it to me, and uh, he said, if anything ever happens to me, I'd like you to have it, and I said, okay, so he managed to get himself shot, and it just so happened that uh, I had a gig down in Dallas on the same weekend, so I was headed down there anyway, so it was the coldest weekend in, in Texas for many moons, and uh, we got old Blaze planted, took a backhoe, you know, a bulldozer, to dig the grave, because the ground was frozen solid, you know, leave it to place. And uh, we get implanted, and uh, we leave the bone yard. And I, and I played a gig that night, and uh, came to realize the next day that Blaze had managed to get uh, buried with the pawn ticket for the guitar in his pocket. <laughs> so the next day we go to the uh, pawn shop man. And he said, no, we can't do that. We're not allowed to do that. He says, came down with no ticket, no guitar. So a drummer and uh, my older son and I drove back out to the boneyard. And uh, I told him, man, I ain't doing this. I'm too, uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm going to lay on the floor, the back floor of this car. Y'all can do it. <laughs> So they go in and talk to the bone man, and uh, he calls the bulldozer man. And the whole time I'm the cowering on the back seat. Of the <laughs> right. We go through the whole. Or they did. I do. I stayed in the car. And the most embarrassing part about it to me was when the when the uh, bulldozer man went by. Our bulldozers are taller than cars, and he like looked in. I'm like, yeah, I'm down there. <laughs> and, uh, our eyes met, and I thought, oh, I'm like, I'm doomed. <laughs> he, you know, I don't even, even notice. He just touched some wine over in the back of the <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> lifted old Blaze, got the ticket, and uh, got the guitar. Replanted Blaze. And he was still dead. I was, I was holding that. <laughs> I was thinking, and, you know, they're surely not. They couldn't. <laughs> this is called Blazes Blues. Mm -hmm.
cause some trouble if I can. Oh, buddy, would you like to come along? There's a place I've never been where you know I could use a friend. They say they'll give us 20 bucks a song. Talking all at once, the old man mowing down his lawn. He didn't look like much too bad a guy. I was thinking, hang on, man, something's wrong. Your blues, they do seem to be gone. If it ain't there, but you don't get nothing done. Lay down your head a while, you are not needed now, you are not needed now. Allison laid an egg on me, and every time it turns around, it's spinning through the air above my bed. I told Miss Hicks and she said fine As long as you're back in your room on time I'll keep you clean and the girls will keep you fed Lay down your head with mine You are not needed now And we got things to do But between the blankets made of wool, the trains roll by every half an hour. And the body can't get no rest and done is true. I spend my time as best I can, thinking big and making plans. Wondering where them trains are rolling to. Lay down your head, poor boy, feel how the ground does move, hear how them drivers sing.
my friends, it's time to close. Everybody knows that's the way it goes. Where was it you lived in case I'm ever there? Three doors down and two behind. Man, it gets a little bit out of hand sometimes. Don't let it fool you into thinking you don't care. Lay down your head and fly. I'll quietly pass you by. You won't even see me go. If I thought about it long enough, I just might make some kind of move. Watch for eyes are too hard on the soul. With the smokehouse just across the way, and this fog upon the light of day, I'd be hard put coming up with where to go. Just lay down your head, poor boy. Feel how the ground does move. Hear how them drivers sing. But now, my darling one, go find a little fun. You are not needed now. The name she gave was Caroline. The daughter of the miner. And her ways were free. And it seemed to me the sunshine walked beside her. Come from Spencer across the hill. She said her pa had sent her because the coal was low and soon the snow would turn the skies to winter. She said she'd come to look for work. She was not seeking favors. For a dime a day and a place to stay. But she turned no Times are hard, Lord, and the jobs are few. All through to Cumsa Valley, but she asked around, and a job she found. Tending bar, the gypsy Sally. Well, she saved enough to get back home and spring replaced the winter but her dreams were denied her pa had died what a word come down Out on the streets, with a 
with all the lust inside her. There was many a man returned again. Or to lay himself beside her. Found her down beneath the stairs that led to Gypsy Sally's. In her hand when she died was a note to cry. There they will to Coosabella. The name she gave was Caroline, the daughter of a miner, and her ways were free, and it seemed to me. I showed her how to lay her lily hand in mine. And the original line was, because uh, I'm from the country pretty much, the original line was, uh, she lowed like a cow when I showed her how. <laughs> <laughs> and I sent it off to New York, and boy, I mean, yeah, they called, New York called back and said, town, so I mean, <laughs> lowed like a cow. And, you know, so I, changed, I had to change that. <laughs> and then uh, and it, and it got to be hit me in the States. I mean, it was a good song. It was really good for me after a while. And Doc Watson, that was a real hard to, to thing for me. Uh, but it got to be a good song. And I went back to the doctor and asked for some more cough syrup. <laughs> it was like, out. <laughs> If I needed you 
Would you come to me and ease my pain? If you needed me, I would come to you. I'd swim the seas for to ease your pain. In a night forlorn, but a morning is born. And the morning shines with the lights of love. You will miss sunrise if you close your eyes. That would break my heart in two. Say whatever. <laughs> Simon, 
No Matthew, no Paul, it don't take an apostle to answer his call. And it don't take no prophet to stand up and say when he offers his hands, don't you turn him away. When he offers his hand, don't you turn him away. He'll lead you to light through the darkest of days. With His love wrapped around you, you can't go astray. When He offers His hand, don't you turn Him away. In a world full of sorrow, a world full of hate, you can't wait for tomorrow. For oh, tomorrow's too late. Well, he offered his blood, your debts to repay. Now he offers his hand, don't you turn him away. When he offers his hand, don't you turn him away. The darkest of days with his love wrapped around you you can't go straight when he offers his hand won't you turn him away well I hope as I'm leaving my message is clear it's a fool that would turn down a gift that's so dear to say when he offers his hand won't you turn him away when he offers his hand won't you turn him away he can lead you to light through the darkest of days with his love wrapped around you you can't go astray when he offers his hand, don't you turn him away. Here's an old Hank Williams song. Start 
down this road of sin where your sorrow bound take my advice or you'll curse the day you started rolling down that lost highway started rolling down that lost highway September, so I'll be back in uh, later September or uh, yeah. October. Yeah. Woo. See everybody again. Well, I'm, I'm, I might move to Perth, man. It's uh, one of my favorite places on earth. Uh, Come to Edinburgh. The Tay, the Tay, the Silvery Tay. <laughs> Runs through Dundee every day. so tired of these same old blues, same old song, oh baby it won't be long, I'll be tying on my flying shoes, flying shoes, I'll be tying on my flying shoes. Spring on this side, summer had to be satisfied. And fall is a feeling that I just can't lose. I'd like to stay, maybe watch a winter day turn a green water to white and blue. Blind shoes. Shoes. Turn the green water to white and blue. While oh, the mountain moon forever sets too soon, and being alone is all the hills can do. Alone and then her silver sails again and I will follow in my flying shoes. Flying shoes. Flying shoes. I will follow in my flying shoes.
gentle rain Sky's coming down again Man, I get so tired Of these same old blues Same old song Boy, baby, it won't be long I'll be tying on My flying shoes Flying Sevens on her sleeve, dances like a diamond shines, tells me lies I love to believe. Her age is always twenty-two, her laughing eyes are hazel hue. Spins my money like waterfalls, loves me like a wonder to. you say to me, darling, put your guitar on, have a little shot of boots, play a blue and waving song, my guitar rings a melody, my guitar sings Loretta Spine, long and lazy, blonde and free, I can have it. Not till she's all alone. Or I won't be gone long. Keep your dancing slippers on. Keep me on your mind a while. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Coming home, I'm coming home. Wears them sevens on her sleeve, dances like a diamond shines, tells me lies I love to believe. Her age is always 22, her laughing eyes are hazel hue, spends my money like waterfalls, loves me like I want her to, loves me like I want her to, loves me like I want her to.
down at the bottom of that dirty old river, down where the reeds and the catfish play. There lies a dream as soft as the water. There lies a bluebird that's blown away. Well, to me, it is like springtime, and the love's like the summer. Her brown eyes shone for nobody but me. In autumn, forever, the food will come a falling, and the rain turned to freezing inside of me. I'll kindle my fires with the words I can't send you, the roads I can't follow, and the songs I can't sing. I wander alone on the sleigh bells of winter, with the stars for a diamond and the world for a ring.